All right, guys, welcome back. This is our second video, second part video for our menu and display. In this video, we're specifically going to look at the auxiliary functions. So auxiliary functions can be accessed by button by clicking in here or making sure that you are uh, highlighted in here. So you can see you move it, uh, the highlight, uh, highlight disappears. If it's grayed out, just click on the screen in here. You can click a uh, menu in here and by uh, selecting auxiliary functions, it'll take you back to the same menu. From there on, let's go through the uh, first uh, functions. So not all the functions I've gone through to fully use it. And so uh, some of them we are going to be using leaving out because uh, uh, it'll be much easier to explain them as they are used into uh, future videos. Because a lot, a lot of them I have no chance to use it, so I can't give a full a proper explanation. But I will go through all the ones I have so far. So in program conversion, in here you can convert your uh, program many different ways. You can transfer data, which you can transfer specific steps and amount steps to a different program. And here you can mirror the image, you can mirror the specific steps. So in here, then you can do X, Y, Z shift. So you can select in uh, by going in here, you can uh, select a program itself. So by clicking a program, you say that you input the, the let's say let's say we want a program one, and uh, oh, don't want to do input, and then click enter it. So it it basically selects the program name. Then you can select the step number and end step, step start step and end step, and you can tell by how much to shift the specific values for all these uh, steps. And the same thing can be done for the joint and tool shift as well. And the uh, inverse program, I've never used it yet. So if you come up to it, come to it, we'll make a spe specific video to understand what that does. So that's pretty much in a, in a program conversion. You can really convert a lot of the data. So in short, in a program conversion, you can edit a lot of the steps by uh, shifting values or uh, copying and transferring specific steps to specific programs. That's pretty much in short. So from there on, you have a save and load. A save and load is pretty much if you uh, select save. It's used if you, you are using a USB to transfer and uh, load programs. To save or load programs into your robot. This is the section you will be using. In save, you obviously are going to save it to the USB. And load, you are going to be loading it from USB. So... Once we get to it, we're going to get a bit more into detail to see how to load and uh, how to save programs in a future videos so if we get to it. I personally don't use this option. I always use the computer programs for it that Kawasaki provides. So, uh, but this option is something that you're going to be using for other different things to load files into your robot. So uh, from there on, a uh, file and folder. Never used this one before. I believe you would transfer the folders. I believe. And auto save configuration, not really sure what that does either. So something we're going to be checking out in the future as well, if we get to it. So from there on, the third function is auxiliary.data settings. So this in here is where you would set specific datas to a uh, run into, uh, that would run alongside into a um, robot programs, such as speed. As you can see, remember, in the previous video, I said in here, so in this section right there, you can see the speed in here and says speed nine. It doesn't necessarily mean that anything really, it's just, it's just a number. So that number needs to represent something. So, uh, so let's go back into the menu and we show your data. And if you go into the speed, as you can see, speed zero, so it's, it's, it's set at 10%, speed one set at 20%. So basically that zero to nine represents the percentage that you have selected that specific speed would do. So speed nine means in, in this case, a 100% a robot will run at 100% at that specific step if you are using it. So uh, in here, so as you can see, it's all been selected just in, in order, but you can easily edit them by just, uh, let's say, uh, put in a 20 in here and just click and save and it will save it for you. Again, this is for your own preferences. So I'll leave that to as default because uh, I use it. I use these things differently. So this is where you would select your speeds, what each speed would represent into actual uh, robot percentage speed. Same thing goes into accuracy. So in accuracy, you can see my accuracy is in uh, accuracy zero is one millimeter, accuracy uh, one is five millimeters, ten millimeters, and so on. So you can select what kind of accuracies you want to be when you are selecting the uh, number for the accuracy. So uh, same thing goes to timers. 
in the timers you can select you have a one to nine timers and each one of those timers as you can see has a, a second to it so you can select each second uh, each timer would have his own uh, second attached to it so it's the, up to you to set these up the way you like it and uh, then is a uh, two coordinates this is something we're going to get much much deeper we're not going to get into all this one uh, now but two coordinates is very very important for future programming for the robots accuracies and everything in between there's a lot more need to get into it but this is where you would uh, you set up your two coordinates and you have a uh, all nine i believe it's nine yeah it's nine two coordinates you can select so and change as you run your program it's very important something that we are going to get into it so and then you have as language mode settings never use it don't really know what that is specifically for again i use my the programming from the computer so i don't really use these functions in here so from there are uh, block instructions change so i believe you can uh, don't really know actually we we'll leave that out as well so i'm not really sure what you use that for but in most cases i'm so far, what I worked, never need to use it. From there on, you have a basic settings. In a basic settings, in your uh, teacher check speed, home position, uh, workspace, load on arm, auto code code register, auto load measurements, and home position check axis set. So let's check out first that the uh, teach uh, check speeds. In teach check speeds, what you can do, you can select what. When you are in the teach speed, what each speed represents, at what speed does it run? And everything is done into millimeters. At the moment, my speed one is 0.2 millimeters per second, which is really low. This is all pre-configured by default, but you can change it if you wish to uh, these to be changed. And same goes to a uh, check speed if you are in doing a check mode. Something we're going to check out again in a future video, the teach speed and check speeds, <coughs> how they would work with the robot itself. And the next, the next thing what we are using as well is setting up your home position. So this is the home position. You have a uh, two options. You get home one and home two. So this is where you would teach him where your home position is. And when you start coding it into your robot, you can always call the home position, and how and it will go to these coordinates what are set in here. So and to teach him, as you can see, you have two options here. It's a current position. You can move the robot in the position and say copy the current uh, current position as a home or you can enter it manually if you wish to and you have two options for home one and home two in this video in, in here you can set up your work space this is something i'm still going through myself to really understand how that workspace would work but i believe we're going to need to make a specifically separate video for this so in here in this window you can set up your work space one two three and i believe there is nine of them and then it is a load on the arm, so you can set up the, uh, what's the load on the arm to give the robot better understanding how uh, what kind of load it is uh, carrying. Basically, in this window, we are need to be selecting what uh, load is on the arm, so the robot can better understand what it is doing. Auto auto to uh, register never used it. Something I will need to get into it in the future. There's a lot I need to ask Osaki how this would work. And load measurement and home position check access as well. These are the three three settings that I have not used it yet, but I will get into them as I progress with my own to, uh, my own learning myself. Then after that is advanced advanced settings. This is quite a big window. There's a lot going on in here, and there's a lot to discuss. In uh, I think as we're gonna get into a more videos, some more more understanding how how things would work. We would use a lot of these things in here. It's like zeroing in here. You can really zero your axis. At the moment, you can see my axes are in uh, this uh, zero to, to these positions, and uh, this is something is 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 a crucial thing to really understand and not to mess it up. Because if you do, things go really really bad. The, in the, the zeroing and then the system switches, position deviation errors for e stops and and so on. There's a, there's a lot 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 we need to go through in separate videos. But in here, you would really access a lot of the advanced settings that the robot will need, like motion limits and uh, base coordinates, base coordinates as well. Is, is, is something that the robot would uh, use to offset its base. Again, something we're going to look specifically in the future videos. So slow repeats and there's an interface panel. Interface panel is something that where you can program the screen in here. So let's leave this into uh, IF panel by interface panel. This is where you can select and teach this screen. Again, we are going to be a uh, programmed in this separately. This is basically 
where you use this interface panel in here. Let's go back into a uh, uh, advanced settings and if you go in interface panel and then interface panel, this is where you would program. Let's say we want to use uh, this one. This is where you would program those buttons on that screen. It's like a PLC HMI programming in, uh, in within the actual teachpad itself. It's quite clever stuff. We're going to do a separate video for it. So, uh, and after that, collision detection is something definitely we're going to be checking out because it's very important not to destroy your uh, tool links if you are making mistakes. And believe me, you will be making mistakes. Deviation limits for continuing, uh, tool change and moving uh, uh, XYZ uh, limits as well. We can set them up in here. These are not classed as a safety limits, but they can be a uh, set up if you wish to. But uh, there's a specific car called Cubic X needs to be installed if you are want to use them as safety. So, and uh, stop categories in here, you can, uh, uh, this is something we check out in the future, is the stop categories. Uh, then is the input output signals. So uh, this is where you can really uh, work with your inputs and outputs, that including uh, the field bus settings. Field bus is where you would set up your field bus for a uh, remote communications for the robot and external, uh, external systems like PLCs and, and computers and so on. And uh, in here, there's, again, it's quite a lot in there. Dedicate inputs, dedicate outputs, and all these things in here. Clamp specifications, you can see in <coughs> here. You can select uh, which clamp is uh, at what application. So you can see zero is not used. There's a uh, spot welding or handling. You will need to say what it is for each clamp. But we'll get to specifically to those videos in the future. Signal name, signal settings for arm, signal allocations, and so on and on. It's quite a lot. Uh, log function never really been in there so basically i believe this is where you would log all the errors and and uh, anything to do with the uh, maintenance and erroring and uh, operations and so on and then you have a system in system a uh, system uh, function is where pretty much everything is uh, to do with the system itself so uh, specifically like <coughs> the dates times pc program run stops chose language network settings and so on so this is pretty much the entire uh, menu where we go through. There's a lot to discuss to a, a for each specific menu as we are going to be using them because there's a lot to learn about them because they're very crucial to understand. So and that will let them it will do for this specific videos. Uh, so hopefully that gives you a, a brief overview of these menus. And in the next video we are going to be jumping into us uh, the base a joint and tool coordinate system how that works and watch how robot responds to each one of those moves so join me in the next video so thank you very much for watching hope you enjoyed it and uh, if you do like the video do subscribe and like and i'll see you next one